Hey, so uh, a lot of people coming after third parties, and I think uh, you know everybody should be scrutinized, uh, but marginalized is different, uh, especially when the two main candidates and the two main parties are such train wrecks, right? So Hillary Clinton is a train wreck. Of course, Donald Trump, I don't have to go into it. He's, su- he's such a train wreck that he's, re- he's destroying the Republican Party. They're sp- fracturing. Right. Republican uh, are showing up at Republican rallies and their own people are booing them. So, you know that. So, uh, John uh, Oliver took down uh, it very, very dishonestly, took down Jill Stein, repeating uh, establishment smears against her. And so that's what he did. And uh, so here I'm just going to show you I'm not going to smear Hillary Clinton, but I want to remember no matter what bullshit that people say about Jill Stein, that she's anti-vax. She's she went to Harvard Medical School. She's not anti-vax. She's anti-corporate influence in our government and our government regulatory agencies. And that's what everybody should be. And the person who really gave the anti-vax statement was Hillary Clinton. And by the way, here is Hillary Clinton in her own words, uh, just to let you know what a garbage dumpster fire she is of a of a. Remember, she voted for the Iraq War, which used to be a disqualifier, but now ignoring it is the is the progressive thing to do. She went along with George Bush. She got tricked by George Bush. I didn't get tricked by George Bush. Did you get tricked by George Bush? Did you think the Iraq War was a good idea? I didn't. You know who did? Morons and people who stood to gain from it. Here's what else Hillary Clinton has to say. Just in case you forgot, this was put together by Channel 4 News. I don't know who they are. I have uh, not uh, supported same-sex marriage. I support marriage for lesbian and gay couples. I voted for border security, and some of it was a fence. I don't think we ever called it a wall. Maybe in some places it was a wall. We will not build a wall. I am a progressive. I get accused of being kind of moderate and center. I plead guilty. I will do everything I can to urge the Congress to reject the Colombian free trade deal. One of our top goals is to complete free trade agreements with Colombia. I support a $12 national federal minimum wage. I have been supporting the fight for 15. Since when do Democrats attack one another on universal health care? He does eliminate the Affordable Care Act, eliminates private insurance, eliminates Medicare. Elim- Since 2015, apparently. <laughs> it's Medicaid, TRICARE, Children's Health Insurance Program. Elections are about the future. But how do you determine what will happen in the future? Well, you have to look to the record. You have to look to what we say in campaigns and what we have done during our careers. Just, uh, just a quick reminder. So people forget sometimes how horrible she is, and that's not even half of it. That's not even a quarter of it. But that was funny, especially the Columbia thing. That was really funny. Uh, there you go. So, um, yeah, super horrible, super weird to see people cheering her on. I get that people are happy to not have Trump be their president. I understand that. But you should be super sad that this is our choice and that our country's falling apart. Half the country is in poverty or poor in the richest country in the world thanks to neoliberal policies and the reason why we have trump is because we the democrats give us stuff like this right now barack obama's pushing the tpp which is a job crusher and people know it yet we're supposed to get people to vote for the democratic party The democratic party is diametrically opposed to workers interests get that through your head and if people understood that we'd have a much better country because maybe people, uh, workers, would stop pledging their allegiance to a party who's working against them. And that's what the Democrats are doing. You can't be in bed with Wall Street and also work for unions. Those are diametrically opposed to each other. Anyway, that was a nice video. I wanted to remind everybody uh, who, who cheered on John Oliver and his uh, bull.